Hello, we've got Mark from Design Spark here and we're going to be looking at the Neural CompuSig 2. Um, Mark, can you tell us a little bit about this product and how it differs from the previous model? Sure, well, uh, it was introduced by Intel at their Beijing AI um, Developers Conference in November last year. Um, uh, it's a lovely little bit of kit in that you don't need any other hardware than this. Um, you simply plug it in using a standard USB 3.0 uh, interface and you're ready to go as far as hardware is concerned. Um, in terms of what's in it, uh, there's, well, they've actually stuffed quite a lot of very interesting bits of kit in there, but I suppose uh, most important bits to think about are the um, neural compute engine, which is essentially a hardware accelerator for the uh, neural inference type applications. And they have a lot more of the sh uh, shave um, engine uh, cores in there, which are again another form of hardware acceleration. Um, it was originally developed for um, uh, game physics to accelerate game physics, but it's such a versatile engine, uh, it was uh, refocused onto vision processing. So that's um, a couple of the, the, the cool features in there. So um, who, who would um, who would primarily be, be using this and what type of applications can this be used for? Well, I mean, at the moment there's um, quite a few uh, drone manufacturers, commercial drone manufacturers that use the Myriad 10 um, processor in their uh, drones uh, in order to do things like object recognition and uh, gesture control and object avoidance, those, those kind of uh, things. It's, it's Pretty cool for that kind of application. So the key benefits really are it's it's compactness, ease of use, no additional hardware required, and multi application. Yep, and all of the um, the software support is open source. Um, you've got uh, complete access to it. It supports um, most of the uh, well-known models like Cafe and TensorFlow and Caldi. Um, and there's even an exchange format that you can use to exchange uh, models between those kinds of different kinds of models. Um, it's um, had, uh, there's also what Intel call the Open Zoo, which is where they uh, have a repository for pre trained models and, and various demos that you can just download and, and try out. Great, so there's plenty of support and information out there as well. And uh, yeah, looks a cool little product actually. I think so. So, would you like to get one of these for yourself? In the comments below, just leave a brief description of what you would do with it. 240 characters or less. And at random, we'll select one person to win one of these. Hopefully when you receive it, you'll be able to create some content for DesignSpark and tell us a little bit further about how you're gonna use this.